بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ربی یسر ولاد وسر و تامم بالحی رب زدن علما السلام علیکم ہوپ یو لار گڈ دس از دی میتھمیٹکس بک ڈی تھری اپڈیٹڈ سیونتھ ایڈیشن اینڈ ٹوڈے وی ول ڈو ایکسرسائز تھرٹین اے کوشچن نمبر فور اینڈ فائیو لیٹ اسٹارٹ اسٹوڈینٹس Now students, this is the question number four. Copy and complete the following table. We have to complete that table. And in part number B, we have to draw the frequency polygon to represent the distribution. We know that when we have to draw the frequency polygon, we need the midpoint. We have to find the midpoint of uh, this part. Now students, this is the class interval and this is the class width. The class width is missing. And now well, first we have to fill that column and uh, we can observe it from uh, 0 to 20 the class width is 20 and from 20 to 30 the class width is 10. You can find it simply by subtracting 30 from 20. 20 subtract from 30 we get 10, 40 from we get 10 and 40 from 50 we get 10, 50 from 70 we get 20 and uh, 70 from 100 by subtracting we get 30 this is the class width now frequency is also given to us and now we have to find the frequency density how we find the frequency density formula is given in the uh, table frequency divided by the class width the frequency is 4 and class width is 20 we get 0.2 frequency is 12 and class width is 10 by dividing it we get 1.2 frequency is 11 and class width is 10 and by dividing it we get 1.1 frequency is 8 and class width is 20 by dividing it we get uh, 8 divided by 20 we get 0 0.4 get uh, 0 0.4 and the frequency is 6 and class width is 30 by dividing it we get the 6 divided by 30 we get the point 2 and now students this is the frequency density now so to make the frequency polygon we need the midpoints we have to make the column of midpoint there you have to make in your notebook midpoint you know that we have to find the midpoint by adding the class interval and divided it by 2 2 0 plus 20 divided by 2 we get 10 this is the midpoint 20 plus 30 and divided by 2 we get 25 and the midpoint of 30 plus uh, 40 is 35 40 and 50 45 and 50, this one is 60 and we 70 plus 100 divided by 2 we get 85 and now students these are the midpoint now we have to draw the frequency polygon now students this is a graph paper i take the uh, values of midpoint along x-axis and this 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 this is x-axis and the values of frequency along y-axis now we have to draw the frequency polygon at uh, at 20, 10 the frequency is 4 this one and at 25 the frequency is 12 the this is the uh, midpoint and this is the point 12 this one on the line yes and at 35 the frequency is uh, 14 this is 35 in the middle and the frequency is 14 
at uh, 45 the frequency is 11 and this is 14 and at uh, 45 the frequency is 11 this one is 11 there is 11 and uh, at 60 where when the midpoint is 60 the frequency is 8 this is 60 and uh, frequency is 8 and at 85 the frequency is 6 now we have to join these points to join these point and then with the and also the starting point with the origin yes and uh, this is the frequency polygon and uh, now students you can see this is the frequency polygon of question number four and this question is now solved now students question number five draw a histogram representing the distribution in question number four using the height of the rectangle now we have to draw the histogram of the data which is provided in the question number four using the height of the rectangle first uh, thing i have to clear you that uh, when you have to draw the uh, histogram there are the two method one is by using the height of the rectangle and the second one is by using the frequency now students to clear this uh, concept i am showing you the example uh, this is the example given to us uh, in worked example one and in this the first method is using the height of the rectangle and the height of the rectangle is how we measure the height of the rectangle this is the heights in a group this is the class width and this is the frequency and this is the uh, rectangle height how we measure the rectangle height the frequency is divided by the standard and how we get the standard the standard is 5 the standard is 5 and there is a difference of 15 and the standard is 3 there is a difference of 10 the standard is 2 every question has its own standard maybe they're 10 20 30 40 the standard is you consider the standard is 10 then the standard there is 1 and uh, we have to divide it by the frequency uh, by the standard and we get the rectangular height that is the one method and in this histogram we use this height and this is the rectangle height that one and students you can see that the histogram is drawn between the height of the rectangle and uh, in the height these are the height of the rectangles and uh, this is the height and you can observe that uh, uh, histogram and this one's the method number two using frequency densities uh, in question number four we also find the frequency densities and the there we have to divide the frequency with class width. we get the frequency densities and these are the frequency densities and the histogram is uh, drawn in between the frequency densities and the heights and you can observe it these are the worked example one which is solved with two methods and uh, one method is given in our question number five that we have to uh, draw the histogram by using the frequent uh, height of the rectangle now we have to move to you, to our question now so this is a class interval and class width uh, uh, we have to do it in uh, question number four 
now we have to complete it 10 and this one is 10 20 and 30 and uh, the frequency density is frequencies divided by class width this is the frequency is 12 divided by 10 we get 1.2 frequency is 11 divided by 10 we get 1.1 uh, frequency is 8 divided by 20 and uh, we get the uh, 0 0.4 and the frequency is 6 divided by 30 we get the if we get the 0 0.2 and now we have to find the height of the rectangle height of the rectangle we have to multiply this uh, the uh, height of uh, frequency with the standard value its standard value i select 10 and that is the 2 multiply by standard and 1 multiply by standard 1 multiply by standard and 1 multiply by standard this is 2 multiply by standard and 3 multiply by standard now height of the rectangle we have to multiply the frequency 4 by 2 and we get the 2 and uh, 1 uh, 12 by, by 1 we get 12 and uh, frequency is 14 uh, divided by sorry divided by 1 we get 12 14 divided by 1 we get 14 and 11 divided by 1 we get 11 and this is the 8 divided by frequencies divided by 2 we get 4 and uh, 6 divided by 3 we get 2 this is the height of the rectangle and this one is the fre uh, frequency now so we have to draw the histogram by using the height of the rectangle and we have to find the height of the rectangle now we have to draw our histogram now so you can see from 0 to 20 the height of rectangle is 2 and you can take the values this is the class interval and we have to take the height of the rectangle along x y axis and this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 and 14 yes the maximum value is 14 now for the uh, from 0 to 20 the height of rectangle is 2 in this one and we have to draw the histogram like that and from uh, 20 to 30 the height of rectangle is 12 is 12 and from 30 to 40 the height of rectangle is 14 and from 40 to 50 the height of rectangle is 11 this one is 11 And from 50 to 70, the height of rectangle is 4. <coughs> and so from 70 to 100, the height of rectangle is 2. Yes, students, this is from 70 to 100. The height of rectangle is 2. And now, students, this is our histogram. Number 5, you can see this is our histogram and which we draw using the height of the rectangle. And students, the question number 5 is done. And I hope you understand these questions very well. Thank you very much, students, for watching my videos. Take care of yourself. Allah Hafiz.